Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Slingshot World TV, doing stuff on my desk while you were all out hoarding loo roll. I was hoarding loo roll and hoarding bits of stuff to do videos uh, for while we were all locked down. Now, what you're looking at is uh, two of the classic Unifox catapults from Wasp. They're equipped with clips. Um, there are, in fact, three manufacturers of clips, as far as I know. Look, as far as I know, as far as I know, I'm the first person who's actually got all three kinds. The one that's just heaved into your picture are the ones from Wasp themselves. They're made from, well, a part that was something to do with the double glazing industry is the big secret. But the real plot here is that uh, there's a big hench fixing through the middle. Um, the next one, I'll just point out with my scalpel handle, um, you can see three little fibre optics and the word pro if you're Resolution's good. On the next one it says Clip X. So these are Pro Clip X's. And these are made by Meridian Bendo. Um, and he 3D prints them. And uh, that's the uh, Allen key that uh, that goes in there. There's the, Did I show you the three different sizes of Allen keys? Because the um, thing is, these last ones, uh, in the middle here, says left on that one. There's a little R on that. Little L on that. Those are also uh, 3D printed. They're from Anthony Titchy. Um, his website Celtic Cat is now the really big issue here is the difference between engineers who know what a torque wrench is and us normal folks us normal folks don't know about torque doing things up just think more is better and the simple facts are that if you use pro clip X's or Meridian Bendo's as in Meridian Bendo's pro clip I'll say that again if you use Meridian Bendo's pro clip X's with the beautiful fiber optics or Anthony Leonard Titch's Celtic Catties clips for the Unifox, you are quite severely limited as to the weight of bands you can put on because of how tight you can do these up before you break them. Likewise, these clips themselves, well, there was one model that people were actually able to harm by doing these things up too tight. Um, that's all been resolved now. It was just something to do with the finish, making it a tiny bit less unbelievably rugged versus the others. Point being, though, is that these now come with a little warning saying... Don't do them up too tight. You know, it's important. Uh, but surprise, surprise, you can absolutely uh, fracture these. In fact, I've got some images of uh, Anthony Titch's ones. That red catapult is the uh, one that has the laser on it. For, uh, it was put on for C1. In fact, I'll just prove I've scared stupid of laser beams, of course. Everybody should be. Uh, the laser is yep, on. Here we go. I'm going to just take that off and then switch it on so you can see it without bouncing off the bloody lens. Whoop, there we go. That's what you get. <laughs> it's like playing with flamethrowers indoors. Um, so, yes, this is the uh, Anthony Titchy one from Celtic Catapults. I'm not sure if you can see there. That, yeah, here we go. Just heave that into view and leave that to get into focus. And you can clearly see that, uh, like a bit of a pillock, I've over tightened it and I have, in fact, fractured it. So, three kinds of clips that exist for the Unifox. Um, the two that are aftermarket, as in made by other people, 3D printers, uh, are one thing. But the ones that uh, are made for the Unifox by the people that actually make the Unifox are enormously uh, stronger. So much so that uh, you do still have to be careful. So no clip for the Unifox is entirely foolproof. And personally, I'm going to stick with Rap and Tuck. I've got loads and loads of Amber Belt. 